Hello everyone, welcome to our series of lecture on current affairs for the month of May 2020. This particular video will be based on the information related to science and technology. Namaskar Hokoluke, Amar A channel Oloi, Apunak Hoku Sobokoi Nimontron Jonaiso Ahakoru, Apunaleke Amar A Kajo Husi Upobukore. So the first question uh, which I have put in those slides is that who released the research development indicators 2019-20 report. Actually, the report government has been given the research and development sector of improvement actually. So the report to the research development Indicators are basically a report con National Science and Technology Management Information Dara Uluahoi G2 Department of Science and Technology Government of India under Pore. So basically, what does this particular report do? This is the most important question, right? So this particular report actually tries to capture the gross expenditure in rural uh, research and development. Etia Luke research and development or report Kiman Kini government and your funding spend Korise Bakuntu area Telke Basi focus Korise Gutebur data a report to Palkoi de Kwajai. Anata important kota Yate Kobo Bisari Suje. This particular report actually uh, means also talks about the women participation in various research and development projects and according to the report, uh, data has been provided that women participation has been increased. Another important thing that to be noticed here that <coughs> sorry, India ranked at ninth position in terms of resident patent filling activity in the world. So the question comes: What is patent? Patent is uh, nothing but it's a right to have an authority, or you can say sole right to exclude others. Patent, kiti ami feel koru zeti amar jee kono bostu invention ba discovery ba jee kono products or amar nijor eta right thake exclusive right. Thikhe sir, he took patent buli kai aro India ninth position or thase a report tour mathe. So next question is when is National Technology Day celebrated? So basically, uh, it is celebrated on May eleventh. The main important thing is the theme. What is the theme of this particular day? It's a rebooting the economy through science, technology, and research. Title is Restart. So, Porikhat Restart or abbreviation wahi bo pare. Nohaba akal just theme wahi bo pare. Yate, ami jani bologya kotha holto je kihor karone National Technology Day ami celebrate koru. To mark this, yeah, to mark uh, this particular day for the successful taste fire at Pokhran range. I mean, how could a Pokhran cinema film to size soon? How you That is a nuclear test for India. So, hey, my achievement to the I mean, nuclear club nation or Jamie include who is hey, achievement to celebrate Koribla uh, May 11 to National Technology Day. His up a government a Kuhona Gorisil. Right, so it yeah, mm, so the most important thing here is that Pokhran 2 or Operation Sakti do it a test fire ring or dam. So, basically, after the testing of the nuclear weapons as a part of Operation Sakti, right? So, Atal Bihari Vaspay was the prime minister uh, during that time. He actually declared India as a sixth country to join the nuclear club nation. Right. So, I hate it here for nuclear club nation under it. Include. So, the uh, Yari Pitarot are the important question. Jani Bola Geze Hansa 3 ki bostu. So, it is nothing but it's a first indigenous aircraft. And the other one is Smiling Buddha. Smiling Buddha. It's a code name given to the first nuclear test that occurred in Pokhran range, right? 
So these are the few important things that need to understand when we are uh, studying National Technology Day. Next important question is what is ultraviolet germicidal radiation that is UVZI. Uh, kindly read the abbreviation too. Actually uh, this has been used in order to detect the coronavirus infection in various public places maybe restaurant, schools, colleges, institution and so on. Right. So for which even RT lamp based test was also included for the coronavirus infection. The next important question is which sphere seals our planet from solar and cosmic particle radiation? Uh, who developed actually Nahoi? Actually, Habo Kune to Uliase. So, uh, answer to the magnetosphere. Actually, magnetosphere. Look at the region hoy Jod Amar planet Earth hog at a magnetic shield provide kore. So, Amar Earth hog jit to magnetosphere asse, he to put basi strong hoy, which actually protects from the solar and cosmic particle radiation as well as erosion of atmosphere by the solar wind right so we have we knew that magnetosphere to kune mane fine kori say it's basically by the institute of geomagnetism right and uh, ultimately this particular sphere would help us in the future space mission next uh, I would like to mention here about solar minimum solar minimum is actually Sun's recession that is 100 days of Sun show zero sunspot uh, zero sunspots solar minimum though I haven't put this particular thing in the question so kindly remember it Next important question is which country launched the central bank digital currency as the first major economy? The answer would be People Bank of China. China had a digital currency, major economy. Would I say? He took Jai Namhol Digital Yuan. Right. So, I Paruze China the very important step loise towards the digital economy and the digital currency is known as digital yuan right so um, that's all next important is what is anita a n i t a anita is an abbreviation of antarctic impulsive transient antenna which is a radio telescope used to detect ultra high energy cosmic ray neutrons from scientific balloon flying over antarctica anita is a, at, a, at a telescope hoy je neutrons pur detect koribo kor pura detect koribo antarctic area r uporot eta scientific balloon pass hobo ar tar through the cosmic neutrons pur e radio telescope tue dhora pelabo right so you can say it is the first observatory for the nutrients of any kind. So this is about Anita. So these are some of the few questions related to science and tech section uh, that comes in news in the month of May. Hope uh, you have enjoyed our lesson. That's all for today. Thank you. Have a good day. And we are coming with a more number of current affairs in our next classes. That's all for today. Thank you.